How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use a VPN to get better ping while gaming on Steam, as well as how to access region-specific Steam libraries to unlock games that are exclusive to certain regions or take advantage of special discounts. So let's jump right into it. There are a couple of simple tricks you can use with a VPN that can help you improve your ping when playing on Steam. First of all, let's talk about throttling. Sometimes your internet service provider or ISP may slow down your connection when you're gaming or streaming. This is called throttling. So when you connect to a VPN, you encrypt your data, which prevents your ISP from monitoring your activity. And this means that they won't be able to throttle your connection anymore because they won't know what you're doing. But throttling isn't the only thing that might affect your ping. Another issue is the way your ISP routes your internet traffic. So to save money, ISPs sometimes send your data through longer, cheaper routes, which can significantly increase your ping as well. I'll give you an example. So I used to experience terrible ping in Dota 2 because my ISP was routing my data from Europe to the US and then back to Europe. So as you can imagine, instead of getting around 30 milliseconds, I was stuck with like 120 milliseconds. It wasn't fun. So what did I do to fix it? It's actually a pretty simple solution and I'll walk you through the process using ExpressVPN, which I personally recommend for its speed, its ease of use and reliability. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use Dota 2 as an example, but this method works for any game on Steam. The first thing you want to do is check the list of servers for your game and find out where the server you're playing on is located. So typically it's the server closest to you geographically speaking. For me, I play on Dota 2's EU West server, which is based in Luxembourg. Next, open your VPN and connect to a server that's in the same region as your game server. So in ExpressVPN, for example, I'd click on the VPN locations button and search for Luxembourg. Once it shows up, I just click on it to connect. So you'll see that it literally takes less than a second to connect to the server. And this is one of the reasons I love Express. It's so fast and efficient. If you're interested in any of the VPNs I use in this video, I've got links to the latest pricing, discounts, detailed reviews down in the description below. But once you're connected to the VPN, head over to Steam and go to your settings. In the download settings, change your download region to match the server you're connected to. So in my case, Luxembourg, Steam will prompt you to restart. So go ahead and do that. And that's it. You'll notice a significant improvement in your ping when you jump back into the game. Keep in mind, not all VPNs are ideal for gaming. Like VPNs in general add some extra overhead since they encrypt your data, which can slow down your speed. So the key is finding a VPN with fast protocols that minimize the speed drop. Ideally, no more than 10 to 25%, which I know sounds like a lot. But that's why the VPNs I recommend for gaming are ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark because they're fast, they're reliable, and compatible with gaming. And they all have servers in over 100 countries, which means you have plenty of options for connecting to your game server. Before connecting to a server, make sure you're using the fastest protocol available on your VPN. So for Express, it's Lightweight UDP. For NordVPN, it's Nordlynx. And for Surfshark, it's WireGuard. And in addition to improving your ping, you can also use a VPN to change your region on Steam. So this lets you access games and discounts that are available in other regions. Like a few years ago, you could simply use a VPN, refresh your Steam page and instantly switch your store region. However, it's a bit more complicated now. To change your region on Steam, you need to make a purchase using a local credit card or debit card from that country. And no, prepaid cards don't work. But don't worry, if you don't want to mess around with that, creating a brand new Steam account in a different region is a great alternative. I've actually created US, Netherlands, and Turkey Steam accounts using this method. So for this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a US-based Steam account using ExpressVPN. So first, connect to a server in the US. Now create a new Gmail account. If you don't already have one that's not linked to a Steam account, the Gmail region doesn't affect your Steam account for some reason, so don't worry about that. Just use a separate one from the one you regularly use. Head over to the Steam account creation page, enter your email and password, and set your country to match your VPN server. It should already be set by default, but it's good to double check just in case. When you reach the capture request, this is where the VPN you use becomes really important. Like if you're using a free or cheap VPN, Steam can detect the encrypted connection and might throw you through a loop where you keep getting stuck on the CAPTCHA test. 
But if you use a VPN with obfuscated servers like Express, Nord, or Surfshark, it'll mask your encrypted traffic as regular traffic, which allows you to complete the CAPTCHA and verify your account without any issues. So I've tested all of this thoroughly, and ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark are all great choices for lowering your ping and accessing region-specific content on Steam. But overall, I would say ExpressVPN is the fastest and easiest to use. It has over 3,000 servers and 105 countries, and it's publicly known for its security and no logs policy, meaning that it's safe as heck. NordVPN offers the best value. It is the fastest VPN with the Nordlings protocol with 118 countries to choose servers in and tons of extra features like specialty servers and threat protection. This one is a very popular choice. And Surfshark is the most affordable and lets you connect however many devices you want with one subscription. It also offers extra features like an ad blocker and web protection. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you found this guide helpful and that you're able to access all your favorite games in whatever region you choose. If you're interested in any of the VPNs I mentioned, be sure to check out the description below for links to discounts and detailed reviews. And also remember to like and subscribe for more content on gaming and VPN tips and drop a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.